If you claim that the Quran preaches the annihilation and the killing of innocent people, yes. we would see it throughout history, especially amongst the most devoted of Muslims. Yes. So for example, when Salahuddin takes Jerusalem, according to your own historian, non-Muslim, Carol Armstrong, she says Salahuddin goes into the synagogue, into the churches, and there was mass held the next day. A striking different sin from when the Crusaders go in. Okay. Those Muslims who adhered to those teachings of the Quran and were seen even today by modern Muslims as closer, much closer to Islam and the Quran than we are today. And yet their example, we don't see. And in fact, the British Army, we have an armored vehicle named after Salahuddin. Did you know that? 